sometimes on national forest hunts or public land hunts, the deer population is relatively low, especially when you're looking for a mature buck. Boy, I hope I see more than just a squirrel on this trip. All right, we're up here this morning and it's in the 40s. I don't know if you can tell by the lighting, but I've got a short sleeve shirt on, so I'm dressed light. When I get to my tree stand, I'll be taking a short sleeve shirt off, putting it into a sealed bag, and I'll put my insulated uh, shirt on and then my camouflage and my coat back on. Because when you're hiking in, you know, the distance I'm hiking in a mile and you're going up steep terrain, you're going to sweat. When you get up there, you're going to be cold because you get all your clothes wet, you're going to to reduce their insulation value. So I'm gonna go up there in the short sleeve shirt. When I get there, I'll change clothes and hopefully we'll be ready to go. So we're gonna start easing up there. When I started making these hunting videos this past spring during turkey season, one of my commitments was to never whisper. So when it's prime time like this, and it's just breaking daylight or in the afternoon, or if I think the deer or the turkeys are moving, I'm not going to say anything, let alone whisper. So on some of my video clips, when I cannot talk, I either do a voiceover, point, motion, or show you the time, or just let you enjoy the animals as they walk through. But we won't be doing any whispering. My hunt this morning took me about 1.6 miles deep in the National Forest. And as I stated earlier, sometimes the deer populations are lower in non-agricultural areas. And even though this doe is far out of bow range, she's definitely a welcome sight. Okay, I've seen <clears throat> two deer, they were running, saw one bobcat, unfortunately I couldn't get any video, he came in too quick. I anticipated seeing a lot more than I saw this morning, but it was still raining a little bit, so I'm going to give it about you know 20-30 more minutes, probably going to call it a hunt, and swing back in hopefully this afternoon, this afternoon should be really good and maybe hunt this, this same area. Waiting an additional 30 minutes in my tree stand definitely paid off this morning. Once the sun came out, the clouds moved off and the fog dissipated, the deer started to move. This large doe came in feeding on acorns just below my tree stand and she was joined by her fawn and another doe. I eventually let this doe pass even though she presented me with multiple shots. I just visualized shooting the deer and practicing in my mind because if you saw the first video on opening day, there's actually another doe that I've got my sight set on. The one that came in that was extremely nosy and cautious. She's definitely a matriarch and probably paid dividends to get her out of the herd because eventually she may spook a buck. These deer started just below me and worked their way at complete 180 degrees around my stand location. It's nice to know that you're set up perfectly with the wind and with the height. If the wind had shifted, I felt comfortable enough that my height in the tree carried my scent well over the deer's head. Occasionally, the one doe would look up 
and think she saw something in the tree, but then she just dismissed it and went back to feeding on the aphids. It definitely pays dividends when you scout your area to get your stand location set up correctly in, in case deer like this move in. I just continued to watch these deer feed and they eventually fed and walked off. No bucks came in, but it's definitely a positive when they've got this many does. This is something I need to remember when the rut kicks in because bucks will definitely be cruising this feeding area in hopes of finding a doe. Okay, it's a little after 10 this morning. I got in here and the meteorologist got it wrong again. Um, I had anticipated it being clear this morning, but it clouded up, started raining a little bit. Fortunately, I was dressed for the occasion, but had to cover my camera gear and stuff up so it wouldn't get wet. But I saw a little bit of movement this morning, saw a bobcat come in. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that video, a video of him, but I think he spooked the deer that I saw run through early this morning. Then what happened was the cloudy, foggy, rainy conditions dissipated and the sun came out. So, you know, it's, I'm looking up now, it's relatively partly cloudy, I guess, but there's patches where the sun was able to come through and shine and that changed the dynamic this morning. So you went from that cloudy, dark, rainy to a bright, sunny, clear day and it got the deer on their feet. So at 10 o'clock, I had three does come through here, get them all in the same uh, picture. And it was pretty cool. So, you know, I'm 1.6 miles deep in National Forest, and I got a pretty good setup here. So I'm hoping to come back in this afternoon, but that's a tip. If you're in the woods and it goes from rainy to sunny, stay in your stand just a little bit longer. You may see some action.